next on our side, so we have a couple of people to get us through that. But that's what we're going to do, and Ms. Bice is recognized for five minutes, and I'll be right back. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman, and I want to thank the witnesses for being with us today. Over the last few weeks, I have heard an outpouring of concern and frustration from my constituents, veterans and military families, chief among them, who have expressed their outrage and the, uh, the disastrous withdrawal and the abandonment of our Afghan allies and even American citizens. I, too, am deeply outraged and have been equally stunned by the lack of leadership shown by President Biden throughout all of this. The American people deserve to have a full accounting of the president's decision-making processes and what ultimately led to a disastrous outcome. Gentlemen, this is not about whether or not we should have left or not. This is about how we left. We may not get all the answers, and the public, the public deserves in today's hearing uh, to know uh, the, the facts surrounding this. My first question, two-part, regarding Bagram Air Base. During the Senate testimony yesterday, General Austin, you said the choice to ab abandon Bagram was made carefully based on the mission to protect the embassy. What aspect of security at HKIA made it more secure than Bagram? And following that, uh, you mentioned in your opening statement Bagram had little strategic value. If you could elaborate on both of those, please. Uh, I certainly didn't say uh, Bagram has little strategic value in in my opening statement. We can certainly we we can break it out and go by go through it line by line if you'd like. I, I would point out to you that I commanded Bagram at one point in time. So <clears throat> there may be other people in the room who have done that, but probably not. So I know a lot about Bagram and uh, and what it offers. The key po point here is that the embassy was in Kabul, and our our mission at transition was to provide security, uh, additional security for the embassy. Uh, and in, a, in the event of an evacuation, we would have to start with evacuating the embassy first. And so Kabul makes all, I mean, it, it provides everything that you need to be able to do that. The capacity, uh, the proximity, and so I think, uh, I think it was the right choice. But isn't it accurate that that HKIA has one runway, whereas Bagram had multiple air, uh, runways, which would have made it easier for the evacuation of individuals from... And, and that's a great point. I'd have to secure it. Now, the reason that we could stay there with 2,500 people earlier uh, was because we had the Afghan security forces securing the outer perimeter of Bagram. If you no longer have that, then you have to commit five or 6,000 troops to do that and then uh, secure it, defend it, and then run the air ops. So that's a substantial additional commitment of, of resources. General Milley or General McKenzie, anything that you'd like to add? I'd just like to briefly talk about, talk about Bagram. It has two runways, but that's actually not what you want to examine when you look at an, want to look at an airfield. It's, some, it's an arcane thing called a MOG. It's the ability to load aircraft and move aircraft around on the runway. And HKIA had better facilities than Bagram for that. Additionally, as the secretary noted, the simple distance from where the people are had to be a planning factor. And last, of course, we were, we were under direction to go to zero, 650 to secure the embassy. So Bagram was not an option under those circumstances. Thank I, you. I would add, uh, if, if I could, um, if you have the assumption that there's no Afghan army, there's 73 towers at Bagram as a minimum. Uh, there's three big gates. You have to have a quick reaction force. You're going to have to patrol out to rocket range. And then you're going to have to secure this 30 miles of road between Kabul and Bagram. We would have never been able to get 124,000 people out of Bagram. Uh, it just wouldn't have happened. That, the center of gravity of a NEO was always going to be HKIA. Uh, the security issues clearly uh, are different in, at HKIA than they are at Bagram. Uh, but Bagram was really not a feasible option, given numbers of troops, distance, and the security requirements. Thank you, General Milley. Follow-up question. You mentioned um, you know, uh, having to evacuate so quickly. Do you trust the information that you are receiving from our intelligence community, General Austin? I, I have confidence in the information that we get from the intel community, yes. That, I, that doesn't say that they will be 100% right all the time. Though. Given the fact that um, it seems as though they did not at all plan for a complete surrender of the Afghan forces upon the uh, withdrawal of, of U.S. troops, they predicted that outcome, uh, but a different timeline, uh, um, as we have, you've, you've heard us say before. So. In addition to the botched over-the-horizon activity that 
killed 10 Afghans still believe that their intelligence community can be trusted and, and is effective? Again, I, I have confidence in the intel community uh, in terms the of... The gentlelady's time has expired. Thank I will now that. recommend Ms. Jacob or recognize